And welcome to start of episode 13! We have our beans. Uh, these are temporary storage tanks. I'm using this to test the system by doing this every once in a while. Because I want this running at full speed just for experimental testing. Um, I think I figured out the secret. The secret is this can never stop going. For the reason of... We always want heavy mud water. And the output of mud will always be output onto the belt first, so it will always be consumed first. Okay, check. So this plant never shuts off. We then feed it, the output, to our farms, meaning the reason why it can't shut off is because we need to feed the farms. Okay, so that goes. So it will always have fluid available for the farms and then the overflow goes out well we still need to make mud from other things so we have two more mud generators and then the output of that gets uh, clarified well what happens if this fills up with mud this isn't gonna shut on as much well Let's keep filling this up. So now that's full of con uh, concentrated mud. And now this pipe just filled up and bing, bomb, boom. Bob's your uncle. Now we're clarifying. So this is the backup clarifier. If this mud, as you can see, I don't even know how much I added. What, I add like 10 in there or something? So this clarifier just naturally will stop over time because this pipe gets full. I guess I could have done overflow from here to there. Let me think about that. No, same problem. Because this could back up with mud. And no, same, same problem. It has to be this way. Also, tool belts researched. Um. Let's start going towards some more advanced uh, setups. Also, also, this does exist. I said in the last episode I couldn't find it. Fluid burning heat source is right fucking here. How did I not see it? I still can't see it. What? It's under pipe and advanced material processing. It's like not on the tech tree. Am I having a, a retard moment? Craft this. It should be available. That text is in red. Look at this. Burner heat so Oh. I pulled a retard. The normal burner... Heat source technology unlocks both and then unlocks both. Retard alert. We got a retard alert here. <sighs> it's right there. So, did I delete it? Yeah, I deleted it. So, we should never have deleted that. Okay, yeah, so this has to be necessary because this could fill up with mud and this could fill up with mud one day. And that's clarifying. Ten products finished. So that needs to be like that. It has to be. So that so it makes this plant never stop running. Perfect. Uh, it's kind of a waste of megawatts, but it's it's not that much. It's five kilowatts, but get over it. Which means this part of the plant is stable permanently, which means that's stable, that's stable, and that's stable, which means that's stable, and, and bing, bong, boom, we should be good. I guess we can check the blueprint one last time. Output is extra fuel oil. Yeah, we can delete these. Yes, that's correct. And we can even 
flip this, I'm gonna see if I can change one or two things in a moment so we can stack it like this, but I wanted to see if we could stack it like this. I guess we could hypothetically stack uh, like this. We can stack like this in reverse. We can also stack like this. I wanna see if I can possibly somehow rearrange it a little bit to get these a little bit more smooshed in. Because we can stack like this, but it's offset by one. See, this is exact. We'd have to do this, or we would have to do this. So I'm gonna see if I can fix this real quick. I've decided I'm not going to. I just looked at it. I'm just looking at it. We can do this. That keeps everything in its own cell. Or we can do this, but we can combine the fluids like this for whatever reason if we wanted to. I think I like this. And I think that's what we're gonna go with. Okay, let's go ahead and build a second one of these. Go ahead and plop it down. So we could do this, where the factorial man stands in this location. As you can see, I'm right to the right of these clarifiers right here. Or, much better usage of the room, where I can now be over here. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and plop this boy, bad boy. We do this? I don't want to do this. I really don't. It shares the fuel oil between them. Ugh. Nope, they're all going to be their own ecosystems. Bam! So let's go ahead and make some more of these. Uh, we said we wanted to head towards the dingle bops of this. So advanced processing. Um, do we get robots first? I think not. Having robots would be nice. But we need the materials to make, so I guess we won't. Things. You clay brick. There should be a lot of that right here. First run, we can go start placing stuff. Missing a lot of stuff. This is quite a, an endeavor to build this. I guess we'll just get to it. No, it doesn't. Interesting. The whatever leg position doesn't copy. Oops. I don't understand. Why is this blinking red? Because that's out of uh, the coal. Okay, that makes sense. Need a C4 plump. Or not coal, out of steam. Let's go ahead and jump start it, but not really jump starting it. We're uh, just connecting it to the grid.
have two gas refineries. Whoops. Uh, we need some seeds. 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 Steel filtering furnace. Um, coolant. Let's go into that, baby. There we go. Turned on, right? Oh, no mud. Eat the mud. There you go, buddy. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. It's okay that that runs. That's pretty efficient! Output full. And... Oh. No! 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 Hopefully it'll be okay. So I'm, I'm knowing over this that this plant is not turning on to give dirt to this farm because its output of here is full. Damn. So now it's this providing Piss. It'd work if, like, everything went into a chest or something. If that, out that output's first, and then this output is next, and then, like, this output... I don't know, some, some weird cr crisscross thing. This boy should be uh, about to turn on. Here you go. Just need a couple more farms there. Well, fucking f farms take 24 steel, man. I don't have that. That kind of money. So we're just going to place down one more and call it a day. And then we'll start doing redesigns on everything. And then this boy needs to be on the inner. There we go. Okay, let's design new iron. Okay, this is the base of what we're gonna be working with. So, six of those, two of those, one of those, two of those, one, one, eight, 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 six, thirty, some random fuck hole amount. Not that many. Don't know why it's doing that. But six. So what is it? Six, like six point 
seven. Six point nine. What was it? Eight? Nine? Not surely not ten. I am very confused at what's going on here. Whatever, eight point six. Uh, let's delete this. I don't trust you. Start from new. I've just, I have discovered that if you place this below the water pump that it doesn't use this to make the water, so... Yay. 8.6 of those. 6.7. It's always kind of a fucked amount. Um... This is looking nice. We only need eight there. And we need eight here. But why is this doubled like that? Twenty. Thirty. Still eight. It's eight and eight. Ah, because we do the advanced ore processing, we can get away with that. So we will absolutely do this advanced ore processing, but it still consumes eight. So I think we'll still do these, these, that can remain that can remain. Yeah, we'll do tech one. We'll do tech one the whole way. We have the landfill for it. So all that will remain tech one. And then after, can this remain tech one too? Hot diggity dog, it can. So that will all be tech two. Okay, I dig it. I dig it, and this can stay all tech one. Excellent. Straight to ore processing. That's that's nice. That's like two levels up of iron processing. That's nice. Advanced iron. We'll get advanced copper. And maybe even advanced tin too. We want we want outputs of those three. Um it's a take steel and shit. Uh. Herp de derp de derp de derp de derp de derp. Problems yet again. We're just gonna green circuit it. <sighs> I think we'll need to put a pump here with mud water to say to shut off if it detects dirt on the belt. We'll let it run. We'll see what happens. We might enter a permanent pyro de power death spiral and never be able to recover. Um, in order to prevent this, we're going to make a reservoir of an emergency tank. So we're going to go ahead and place two tanks there, and we're going to fill them up. It'll be backup oil in case it all goes wrong.
bit more storage. Oh, I can make it there. Can I scoot up in there? Yeah, I can. This is the emergency oil reserve. <laughs> Let's let that build up, just in case. Maybe that won't back up if I build another farm. E. Where is it? Where is it? Oh, still building it. And then we go farm. There we go. I can always build some some of those later. Unless 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 no. Can't can't build it now. Later. Okay, so pretty sure we're going with this setup for majority of our stuff. Let's go ahead and copy it and make it out of uh Bronze. Yeah. So proud of my power, but I do think that when these tanks get full, it'll back up again and maybe completely stall. It'll be interesting to see. In the meantime, we are just doing some research, and we will be doing these huge fuck off stacks. Uh, that means we need a lot of electrolyzers. We don't have any iron for that. So the first thing, the first step to do is going to be an electrolyzer stack of iron, basically. And, uh, to just go nuts. I've had the game paused a long time and iron smelting has not gone up at all. Right now I'm just trying to get some basic resources to uh, what you call it, uh, get the stuff for this. Uh, really need to work on that. So. Definitely going to go straight to advanced iron processing. Goodbye, old iron processing. We're going straight to advanced. So we need a lot of stuff. Uh, we'll steal all the electrolyzers, basically. To steal that and get mineral sludge from that. Uh, I guess we'll build it here. Maybe down south. Maybe this area down here. But, uh, we're really hurting on this research and iron production. In fact, let's go shut off steel and go full in on iron for quite some time now. So how much steel we got. Yeah, we'll shut steel off for now. Go in and uh, all in on iron. Maximum size. Oh, okay, we just zonked it. Um, we used a lot of it. the rest to fill in this so we can use this peninsula. Wow, we just zonked all our landfill. Zonked! Uh, 
That's, uh, didn't think we'd use all of it. Well, I guess we did. <laughs> that, that was a big waste. That, that, that leg could have been there. <laughs> Rip. Almost. I can fill that in too. There we go, buddy. Maybe we can like move the windmills over there or something. Okay, we get to start designing this, which we basically need yellow belts for because look at that. It's a full yellow belt of slag outcoming of that. And it's also a full belt of electrolyzers because it outputs one slag and one electrolyzer. Damn. Hey, LaMail. Uh-huh. Um, let's go hoard iron for a while. So we're going to go ahead and go boop. Tin plates. 14 red belts. Rough. Super, super rough. Uh, we're probably going to use filter inserters for this as well. So here's what a stack of 15 looks like. Yeesh. I need a lot more landfill. Fill in all that up there. Um. Home. Thinking emoji dot JPEG. Um, that spits out mineralized. How about they're up there? Because that's where the other mineralized water will be. That needs water. Yeah, they're going to be up there. A little something like this. Okay. I predict that we will enter a death spiral. Specifically, since this is not putting anything out, that's fine. Since this is not putting anything out, that's maybe fine don't know uh, but eventually this will back up so the outputs full so this is making no more concentrated mud water eventually that'll fully it's already fully back up and then eventually this will keep making heavy mud water forever and then eventually there's going to be 200 mud in here and then no more heavy mud water will be made which means this machine which consumes 50 heavy mud water has to won't make any more mud water until 200 mud is consumed we can math this out. Give me a moment. 10 mud, 50 that. Okay. Since this takes 10 mud and it goes up to 200, that means this needs to be able to consume 200, uh, uh, 20, 20 cycles worth of mud. And since this takes 50 and a pipe can hold 100, we need to count 50, uh, 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 20 times 100 worth of heavy mud water. So 2,000. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. That's not going to work. It can all be fixed with an inline storage tank. Uh, like right there or something, I believe. Yeah, for sure. Two, 2,500. So... Yeah. Now it really shouldn't jam. I think that fixes the problem. Because it has a buffer of mud. Heavy mud water. I think that fixes it. Okay, guys. I'm going to go ahead and shut off the fuel reserve. And we're going to go ahead and end this episode here. We're just looking to... There's our fuel reserve. And we're just looking to... Uh get resources and maybe a little bit more landfill to do a back-to-back -back and do a bunch of yellow belts to supply this and then we're off to the races with the iron see this this needs uh oh it's all for all 30 oh that's nice all 30 need one yellow belt so two total yellow belts and then we need a third yellow belt so three yellow belts in total Okay, it's not as bad as I thought. Okay, guys, thanks for watching this episode. See you guys in the next one, where hopefully we start constructing the turbo iron. Bye.